All right. Thank you for joining your girl, Chef Keisha B, for another What's Cooking With Me. You read the title. Today, we're going to be making lemon chicken tenders, Asian style, okay? So, we'll go over the uh, ingredients, and then you know we do. We get this party started. So, let's go over our ingredients. For our garnish, we have a green onion. Well, some green onion. We have, let me look at the spoon here. We have one teaspoon of lemon pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one half cup of honey. It's raw honey, that's why it looks so dark, but just honey, one half cup of honey, one fourth cup of pineapple juice, one third cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, that's two tablespoons. One cup of oil. One teaspoon of seasoning salt. What is that? One teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of, you can't see it here, but olive oil. One and a half cup of AP all-purpose flour. Juice from one lemon. You am going to use that there. And that's pretty much all the ingredients except of the uh, chicken strips where I took two large chicken uh, breasts and I cut them into strips. So you need two large chicken breasts and cut them into strips. Or I'm going to say between eight and ten, well, no, nah, maybe ten strips if you're, you know, you're buying them. Okay? So... I'll show you my strips too so you can get an idea. So please don't go by the jumbo ones, but like this. So I just took and I cut them up. All of them are different sizes. See that one? So yeah, I have about um, between eight and 10 in this bowl. Okay? So yeah, let's get this party started. You know, I think I forgot to mention the lemon. So shame on me, all right? So let's go. So basically, this is for our glazed sauce. So, matter of fact, before we even do that, let's do this. Brown sugar in the pot. Lemon pepper in the pot. Okay. Garlic powder in the pot. Apple cider vinegar in the pot. Pineapple juice in the pot. Soy sauce in the pot. I need to get something for the honey. Hang on. Okay. Honey in the pot. So now it makes it easier. This is a very easy recipe. You mess this up, that means you're just doing too much. You're going too fast. Slow down a little bit. All right? You know me, I'm getting it all waste, not one not. Okay, so everything is here in the pot. Now, lemon juice. We need this whole lemon. Okay? So, show you how cool this is. Boom. Full container. All right. You need to go like this. And you pour it in. So I need one more of those. Okay. Let's go. And then, like so. Okay. So we have everything inside. Now let's bring it to a boil, okay? Now we're gonna bring this to a boil. I see a, a lemon seed, so I'm just gonna grab that baby out. Okay, so let's get it all stirred in. 
and it'll do much better once it's uh, heated up, okay? And uh, I'm silly, but <laughs> I had the wrong burner on, okay? I need to slow down. So let's bring this to a bowl, get it all mixed in nice, and then you just wanna bring it to a bowl. Like I said, if you wanna turn your fire up high, I like to have it high if I'm standing right here because I can control it. But if I'm moving around, I keep it on a medium low. But right now, since I'm standing here, it can be on a high. But once you get it all mixed in, you can leave it alone. Okay. Everything is mixed in. See it there? Nothing's on the, the bubbles. Nothing's on the spoon. So it's pretty loose. We want this glaze to thicken okay so let it be all right next thing my bad i am moving too fast 15 minutes okay start can't even see it i can see it you can't see it okay so now get you a skillet and bring your oil to a nice hot temperature. Pour your oil in your pan, okay? And that is your one cup of oil. I use canola oil, okay? So we wanna heat our oil up. So you can go ahead and put it on high, again, if you're in the kitchen. If you're not, keep it at a medium low, okay? Okay, I'm human. I forgot to throw in the olive oil. So put your olive oil in your glaze. Yeah, I mess up every now and then. Not too much, but every now and then. Okay, so now, there we have it. It's complete. So stir it up. Okay, so now you're gonna take your seasoning, which is seasoning salt, and that was your one teaspoon poured in your flour. And you had your one teaspoon of black pepper poured in your flour. Okay. Now, this up. Now we're just going to just mix it in, mix it together. Keep your eye on your sauce over there. I'm getting ready to um, bring my heat down some because it's going a little, a little hard over there. Okay. Alrighty, so Make sure that all of your seasonings are mixed in. Okay. All right. Now we set that to the side. Okay. So while we're waiting for our oil to heat up, which mine is heating up pretty quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, turn my fire down to a medium low. And we're going to go ahead and cut up our green onions. Okay. topper you know, a little garnish I mean yeah you're gonna eat them too of course just to make it look nice and pretty all right green onions are here and there you have it so we're just gonna take and put our green onions to the side okay okay so let's give our glaze a stir and we still have uh, eight minutes left okay so it's boiling it's thickening up it's not really going to thicken up until you really turn off the uh, fire. 
because of the brown sugar will cause it to thicken up in the honey. But as long as it's hot, it stay like that. But once we turn the heat off, it will get thick. Okay? Okay, so now we have empty bowl. We have flour. And I'm going to take and put my buttermilk in this empty bowl. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to toss it around in the flour. Okay? Like so. And then I'm going to toss it back in the milk. Okay, that was quick. And then put it back in this heat. Okay? And you say, I want mine a little extra crispy. So you want an extra? Go again. So double dip it. Alright? Alright. Now place it in your oil. Same thing. I did that wrong, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you dip it back in the milk. That's because I double dipped. When I double dipped, it threw me off. So I'm not going to double dip. Stay focused. And turn your fire up a bit to like a medium. Okay. Follow on along. All right. Now this is what gets your chicken flaky. Is all of this. That's what, that will make the like the the crust be like like a flaky crust. You know. It won't look so smooth, okay? You see, I have different pieces and stuff, so it's not like it has to be all perfect unless your family requires it to be perfect. And you see all the little pieces sticking to it? That's what's going to give it that little... All right, we have four minutes left on our... Um, on our glaze. This is not a, you know, I know we having all the ingredients on the counter and it looks overwhelming, but it's really a simple recipe. It's just complicated when you have to cook and talk at the same time instead of just getting with it. But this right here is okay. Go ahead and do that. Because all it's going to do is put, like I said, it's going to put those little clumps it's gonna stick to the chicken and it's gonna make it you know have like crispy crusty you know all right that's all i'm gonna put in the pan for now so let them cook uh at least five minutes on each side okay so our first five minutes is now okay so now you need to check we have a one minute and 44 seconds on our timer for our glaze so go ahead and give it a stir you see it's getting thicker because it's trying to stick to the spoon it's not there yet okay if you're experiencing what i'm experiencing like it's trying to bubble up bring your fire down so okay When you fire down some, but keep it out of bowl. And our chicken, we have one minute and four seconds on our timer for our glaze. So our chicken, we have about three more minutes. No, I said, what did I say? Five to ten minutes, three to five minutes. Uh, I said five minutes. So. I don't, right here, it is 457. I put them on at 455. So, 5 o'clock, I'll turn them over. All right, make sure your fire is nice and high, but not too high. So, a medium high now. 
And let's go back in at 18 seconds and stir our glaze. Okay. All right. Once the fire is off, it will begin to thicken. So timer is off. I'll put my top on and I will turn my fire off under my glaze. Okay, so timer is getting ready to go off. All right, now let's flip our chicken over. Okay, so chicken is flipped. I will, I guess you can see it right there, but let me take you in closer on the chicken. Okay, so we have five minutes for this, for this side. You see it? All right. So just continue to let that fire for your five minutes on this side, okay? Okay, so I still have about a minute and 47 seconds left, but I want to check the chicken. So see, look at that, that side went just a little faster. So I went ahead and flipped mine back. Just because when I turned them over, my grease was hotter once I turned them over. So they look lovely. Now what you want to do, because you're going to drain these off on some... Um, some paper towel so get you an area where you're gonna set your chicken and drain on okay okay so i got 27 minutes left and i'm gonna go ahead and remove my chicken okay I seem like I like this side, but that's how it looks on our first side. But I like the golden, the golden looking. So, all right, yeah, because one side is golden, and one side is a light gold. So. Okay, so we're gonna continue the process. So go ahead and put some more chicken in your pan. Okay, so I have all of the chicken fried up. I was able to clean the kitchen while it was frying. So let's get ready now to dip your chicken in your sauce. Okay? So you need something to put it on. Okay, so you see? And this is all you wanna do. Take the warm, the ones that you put out first. Okay, so continue that process. Okay, so we have sauce left over. And now, here is your lemon chicken tenders, Asian style. Now that's what's cooking with your girl. Oh, got a drizzle on the plate. With your girl, Chef Keisha B. Let me bring you in for a close-up. Now that is your, again, lemon chicken chicken tenders Asian style and I just poured a little bit after dipping the chicken got a little chicken crumb in there I kind of just poured a little bit of the sauce um, in the bowl so you can do some double dipping there you have it Now that's what's cooking with your girl, Chef Keisha B. Oh, so you want me to taste it? 
You ain't saying nothing but a word. Let's get this piece right here waiting on. Oh my God, it's got all over my clothes. <laughs> but it's so good. You can taste all of the flavors. It's dripping everywhere. Um, the meat is nice and tender inside. You can taste the lemon juice. You can taste all of the um, the ingredients that we put inside the pot. Um, man, make this dish. This is the one. Man, I got to get this stuff off my clothes. All right. See you soon. Bye for now.